it is Arika Misha, and y'all already know I'm in the kitchen cooking because we love to eat around here. So, this is a meal you can have whatever day you want. Monday, Tuesday, any day of the week, it's up to you. But today, this is going to be our Sunday dinner. Yes. Now, let me show you guys what I am sauteing. It is the pork shoulder. I saved the paper just so y'all can see I'm not making it up. All right, and as y'all can see, this is from Publix. Y'all know I love Publix. All right, so here we go. This is, you guys see it? It says pork shoulder. My paper a little wrinkled. Come on, that paper. Pork shoulder Boston butt roast. Y'all see it? Pork shoulder Boston butt roast. Yep. But anyway, oh, ooh, they got some Spanish here for me, y'all. I guess they put it in Spanish. Paleta de Cerrado para Asar. I know I ain't pronounced that right, but that's all right. Y'all know what that means in English. So, this is going to be a pork roast, but it is going to be a teriyaki. Teriyaki pork roast. And this is the teriyaki glaze that I love using. The um, Larry's teriyaki with pineapple sauce. I love it. That pineapple just gives it a little sweet. It's like a marinade. But y'all see, I'm going to make a teriyaki sauce. And I'm going to put it in there with our uh, butt pork roast. And I'm going to be using 10 minutes. 10 minutes, y'all see it. 10 minutes success, garden grains, boil in a bag, white rice, peas, carrots, and red bell peppers. I've cooked this before on my channel. It is so good. It's like a veggie rice. I love it. It tastes so good. Look at that, y'all. Yes. I've got four boxes over there. Y'all see, it's two boil in a bags in each box. And this is quick and easy, y'all. Because our roast is already going to take like five hours, child. Maybe an hour and a half in the pressure cooker. Because the pressure cooker is going to cook it fast. Oh, let me check on my meat. Uh-oh. Well, I'm talking to y'all. Okay. And what I'm doing to my pork roast, I'm just uh, sauteing it on all four sides. All four sides. So I've got it on that other side now. I'm just sauteing it all four sides. Let me see if I can get y'all in there. Yes. Uh-oh. Ooh, that pork roast is cooking up. So, I'm sauteing it. I just wanted to come and show y'all real quick what I'm cooking today. Teriyaki pork roast over veggie rice. Well, it's white rice, peas, carrots, and red bell peppers. Whatever. Over veggie rice. That's what I'm calling it. And that's by success. I love that rice. It's really good, y'all. It's really good. Definitely got to try it. It's really good. It's only like a dollar and something a box. Not expensive at all. And, okay. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and saute this meat on both sides. You know, get it brown on both sides. Get it all brown, girl. So that's what I'm doing. And I'll be back to show y'all what I'm doing next. Okay, I'm back, guys. So I've got my pork roast all nice and browned on all four sides. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make this quick teriyaki sauce right in the pot. Right in the pot with the meat. Just going <laughs> to do my thing. Right there while it's in the pot. In the uh, so, uh, pressure cooker. So let's go. All right, now I got some college and beef broth. Got to show y'all that. College and beef, whatever broth you want to use. Beef, chicken, whatever. Tomato, tomato, honey. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so. All right, I should have about a, I just need a cup, really. Yep, and that's exactly what I got left, a whole cup. So, let's pour this in. Pour that on both sides. Get that all poured in, all nice. I think I got a little bit more in here. Try. There ain't nothing but like a teaspoon, tablespoon left. All right, so, a cup of beef broth. All right, let me move this beef broth container out of the way so I can throw that away all right so one cup of beef broth y'all know that's gonna help help our um, roast get all nice and soft and juicy and tender now my teriyaki sauce now y'all know teriyaki but see I got the teriyaki with the pineapple so once again I'm gonna show y'all that that's the Lyra's I love this brand they got all kind of they got lemon pepper they got different Different flavors not. This is like a marinade. You know, like a marinated meat. But anyway, I always use it to make my teriyaki sauce sometimes too. So would help if I take this top off. 
like I said, we're gonna make our teriyaki sauce. Trying to get this top off. Okay, now. Anyway. Okay. All right, now. Go on now. Stop playing around. Okay. So, I'm gonna do a cup of the teriyaki. And the teriyaki, as you guys can see, is thick. And teriyaki can be really salty. It can be real salty. But I'm not worried about it because this is the pineapple, so it's sweet. It's not all salty. So I got a whole cup of the teriyaki sauce. I'm going to pour that in the side with my beef broth. Let me put this down. Pour that in the sides. And of course, I'm going to pour it across. All right. So we got that. Now, I'm also going to add some honey. Whatever honey you want. Clover honey, whatever honey you got, honey. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to squeeze some honey in here. And y'all know that honey going to make it sweet. Because y'all already know I got the pineapple. And I'm putting about... Oh, y'all see I'm just squeezing it in there. I'm going to say half a cup of honey. Based off of, you know, what I'm doing. And see, I'm just going to take a spoon, simple spoon, and I'm just going to mix that in on the side down there. Making that teriyaki uh, sauce right down in the pot with your pot roast. With your pot roast boast. B pot roast boast. Pot roast butt. <laughs> anyway, y'all. I'm so silly. Let me get y'all in the pot. So I'm just stirring it on the sides. Getting it all mixed up. And I'm going to taste it. Make sure it doesn't need anything else. Just taking my spoon, stirring that up, mixing that up down in the pot. Ooh, that's going to be good. Let me make sure. Let me see how that tastes. Ooh, that tastes good, y'all. Okay, I got to tell y'all those measurements again. That is a cup of beef broth, one cup of teriyaki, uh, half a cup of honey. Yes, those are the measurements, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Sweet, it's like a sweet teriyaki sauce flavor. Ooh, that's going to be good. That's going to be real, real good. And you know what? You can just take this sauce. Y'all see how I'm doing it? I'm just taking the sauce, and I'm just going to drizzle it over my meat. I'm just going to drizzle it. And of course, while it's cooking in the pressure cooker, you know, the pressure cooking is, is going to, um, the pressure cooker is going to cook the uh, teriyaki sauce in the meat. So the meat going to be good. I'm just, you know, doing this to be extra. Pouring it over my meat like that. Oh, y'all, this going to be good. When I tell y'all, this little quick bootleg sauce I just made. <laughs> y'all saw me. I made that sauce in like a minute. One cup of teriyaki, one, uh, half a cup of honey, one cup of beef broth. That's all we used. And oh, my goodness. That's going to be so good. Okay, enough of that. All right, y'all. So y'all see it's ready. Let me lift y'all up. I could raise my um pressure cooker. I mean pressure cooker, duh. I can raise my um tripod stand here, but it's just easier for me to just lift it because then I have to readjust it. We ain't got time for all that. So it's better if I just lift y'all. All right. So let's go ahead. We already got everything ready. It's already nice and hot. Let's get this top on because we're not trying to make this no whole hour video now. I like to keep my videos short to make sure people can watch. So, let's go ahead. Make sure we got this top on sealed. Let's go ahead and get our top on, boo-boo. This top be getting on my nerves sometimes. I done done this a million times, try, and it be acting crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and manually set our time. And we are going to set it for, I'm going to do an hour and a half. Because this is a thick piece of meat. So we're doing an hour and 30 minutes on this. An hour and 30 minutes. So start. We got everything set. An hour and 30 minutes. Everything closed. Everything sealed up. It's going to get all nice and hot. And it's going to go ahead and cook for an hour and a half, y'all. And y'all will see when I come back. We'll check on it in an hour and a half, see how it look. I think that should be enough, though, but it is a thick piece of meat. You got to consider that. All right, y'all. I'll be back, y'all. I'm getting hungry. All right. We're getting ready to get our rice together. 
<clears throat> and actually with this rice, what I love about it, 10 minutes, like it says, and it's quick and easy. As it tells you on the back. Easy. All I gotta do is bring water to a boil. It says four cups of water, but y'all know I'm doing four boxes. But anyway, so you bring your water to a boil. You put one tablespoon of salt for flavor and put your bags in there. Y'all see it? Put your bags in there and um, boil it for like about, let me see. Boil it for about 10 minutes, I think. Yep. Boil uncovered for 10 minutes. And then that's it. I'll remove the bags. I'll show y'all uh, me doing that. Uh, it's easy. I don't want to make, like I said, I don't want to make this a whole 30 minute video. So you just boil your, uh, I'm going to put the bags in here now. Let me do that. Because I need to do that before this water starts boiling. And like you see, it's all seasoned. It's got little holes in it. So we're going to put our all our bags in here. Each box has two bags. And y'all know for me and the girls. So, and I like to cook extra so we have leftovers. Get our bags all nicely submerged here in the water. Okay. Why that one looking a little sideways? Try. Anyway. Get it down in the water. Got one more box. And this is some really good rice. Once again, y'all, it's the success rice. Not expensive at all. Is that bag open? Okay, hold on. Okay, don't be spilling out no rice now, y'all. Okay, let me make sure everybody's fitting down in this water. So it can boil. All right, it's gonna get to boiling. And it's quick and easy, y'all. Quick and easy. Our water is going to go ahead and boil and um, bring y'all in a little bit. The water just going to boil. Cook the rice real quick. It's a nice, quick, easy way of cooking a flavored rice. And I love it. And let me show y'all that again. It's got, uh, it's white rice, black beans, corn, and bell peppers. It's really good. It's going to be delicious. Laying that teriyaki uh, pork roast over the uh, veggie rice. Oh, that's going to be good. And I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. So, all right. I'll be back to let y'all see that rice when I get through. All I'm going to do is just, once it boils for 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and just cut the top of the bags open and just dump the rice out in my uh, pot, my little pan. I'm going to put the rice in. And our pork roast got like a whole hour left. So, yeah, child. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I'm back for the grand finale. The grand finale. Y'all see y'all rice back there? Let me bring the rice in real quick so y'all can see how delicious that rice turned out. Ooh. Ooh, look at that rice. I gotta take y'all in. Look at that. Ooh, look at the black beans, the peas, greens, greens. Y'all see it. <laughs> y'all see it. Okay, let's get into this pot roast. Oh, hush. I'm just opening it. I gotta lift y'all up and ooh, y'all see it. Y'all know I'm gonna put y'all in that slow cooker. Ooh, wee. Y'all see it. Teriyaki pork roast. Mm, 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 mm. I'll take y'all in a little bit more. I ain't scared. Ooh, yes. Mm, mm, mm. I know y'all smacking y'all lips. I know y'all smacking y'all lips. I know. I know. Mm, 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 mm. Well, you seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.